Okay. All right, so today we're going to show you guys how to play Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Genesis, Sega Saturn, and PS1 online with Med Nathan. So if you get the download link that I provide, it'll have two Med Nathans. It'll have the Med GUI Reborn, and then it'll have just regular Med Nathan. Um, if you want to play four players or use the multi tap, suggest using this one. I think this is the only one that allows it. So, this is probably just the better version of Med Nathan. So, once you go into the main folder, you're going to open up the little yellow backpack. Just like this. And you need to remember if you're playing uh, any ROMs that are like CD images. You're gonna need Q files. And you're gonna need to keep all the files that come with the game. You need to keep them all with the game so that the game works correctly. So after you open it up, and it should look like this, or it'll probably be like like this for you guys. It's I just maximize mine. You would click right here, and you would find your games. We're gonna do. WWF Smackdown Know Your Role WWF 2 I think Smackdown 2 I'm going to go to PS1 ROMs Yep Smackdown Hit OK It's going to pop up right here So what you want to do then You want to right click on, on the game or console Hit Advanced Settings And you want to Go to Netplay and you want to make sure whoever you're playing with has the same server right here. So Glitchy, what what server are you using on your Mednafen? Um, check. <clears throat> My server. Okay, so... Should be in advanced settings. Yeah, let me just load up the. Okay. Bear with me here. Okay, so. Advanced setting. And you say Netplay. Netplay. My Netplay server it port is forty forty six. No, I'm asking for what host Netplay host. What which one are you using? Oh, Netplay host. I'm using Mednafin dash us dot paradise. Okay, cool. See, that's all you need to know. And if you and uh, like four people or something want to play with the multi tap. Everybody needs to go to this tab over here and click this. Enable multi-tap on PSX port 1. And if you want to play, like, say, Monopoly, which has eight players, I think you would check both of these. Yes, you would have to. <clears throat> yeah. You would only enable four controllers for each Yeah. port. And right here where it says input device for port 1, you could click this and you could actually use... These other ones, like you could use the mouse. Like I've played with the mouse on here before, so it's pretty cool. But for now, I just leave it to gamepad because of the game that we play. So yeah. after after that's done, you pretty much just exit out. It'll ask you if you want to save it. Just hit yeah. Um. So now, pretty much, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up this game. And I think it's a full screen. The game is in full screen, so I'm gonna close this out of the game. Or actually, I'm going to do something real quick. Just give me just a second, people.
All right, so now once you get the game opened up, I'm going to hit um, one. Or actually, let me click on the game. One, two. See, I have a save state with Glitchy where we played. So I'm going to hit one to load my save state, and I'm going to hit F7 to load it. So now here's my save state. So now, once I got my save state loaded, I'm going to hit T. It's going to bring this, this little command prompt at the bottom left corner of the screen. I'm going to hit forward slash connect. And see, it says now, jibbity jibbity, have connected as player one. So now, Glitchy, you connect as player two. So he's going <clears> to <throat> do the same thing. He's going to type forward slash connect, and it should throw him in here. Launching. So there, there is Glitchy. There it is, and it just loads up just it, like that. It, yeah, it just syncs up is what, what it's kind of doing now, and then it, there you go. Yeah, so if you guys if you guys get worried about the lagging, that's just the game catching up to the other person, the host. Yeah, and it'll do that. And the cool thing about Med Nathan is, is you could, um, anybody who's connected can uh, save the game and make a save state. And it's pretty cool. I always thought that was awesome. But like Super Nintendo, um, while two people are connected with each other, for some reason it won't let you make a save state until someone disconnects, which is really weird. But PS1 does. Weird. Yeah, I know Secret of Mana was doing that. Yeah. But, but um, this game, PS1 games usually don't do that. So, so yeah, if you want to make save states, you just hit one through ten. You could choose which state you want to use. So I, I would hit one, and I'd hit one and then hit F5 which saves the game and then I hit F7 to load it and see it's kind of lagging right now because it's allowing Glitchy to kind of catch up to where I'm at so yeah that's pretty much it hopefully that uh helps some people <laughs>